I got everything going. All of my knobs are turned, my buttons are pressed, my controller is grabbed and plugged in. We are ready to go. I'm gonna put this, oh my goodness, that's big. There we go, that's better. For years, monsters have been sealed away by a powerful spell. Oh, this is really cool looking. A spell that could only be broken with seven human souls. Oh. Their king was peaceful and wished to avoid any more conflict. but eventually declared that any human who fell would die. Mount Ebbet. Few humans have braved this mountain. Those who did were never seen again. What a cool way of jumping. You know it's intentional that they're jumping down there. Oh man. All right. <clears throat> We're gonna take a moment. First impressions. You can tell this isn't actually a Toby Fox game because it looks too good. <laughs> The level of detail in those backgrounds is just outrageous. It's so beautiful. Toby would never. <laughs> and I say that with all the love in the world. Um. <laughs> Amazing. Also, like, Once Upon a Time is a song that I've listened to so much. So much and it's so neat to hear that it, it's it's got more instrumentation it's, it's it's kind of richer and you're like okay this is an arrangement and then it goes different places and you're like oh yeah this isn't quite the thing that I know so well that I've listened to so much that every note is etched into my soul you know amazing also I'm super excited to see like Right from the get-go, if you haven't played Undertale, like, I'm sorry, some of the Undertale bits are going to be spoiled for you, but this is a prequel that's meant to function as a sequel, um, you know? So, that's cool. Off to a good start. I'm happy. I'm happy. I hope that you're all right with me reading things out loud, because that's what we're going to do. It, it is a different experience, and I'll probably forget to do it sometimes. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm excited. <laughs> it's, like, it's new Undertale stuff. I love that <laughs> I love the really harsh not loop. You're not supposed to be on this screen for that long. <laughs> That's really delightful and charming. It's really good. And the fact that they bring in unexpectedly 
other tunes. Makes me think a lot of the way that Toby Fox, as somebody who got his start making fan works um, and being part of the Homestuck community. No, I haven't read Homestuck still. But you, you know, you can't be in the Undertale fandom and not absorb a little bit of that <laughs> just by existing. Our fandoms are adjacent and overlapping. Um, so there's like the like, the way that, that like they, the composers of, of the arrangement here have like pulled in other things. Like it just, it feels very true to like, this is, what is what we do. This is what we're, what we're building on here. This is, this is, yeah, how, how we do things, yeah. Three hours of music, amazing. I did have a friend who read Homestuck on stream um, years ago, actually, a few years after Undertale, and he had a good time, but was like, proceed with caution. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> All right, instruction. <laughs> That's an interesting word choice. <laughs> instruction, not instructions. Charming. Z or Y or enter, confirm. X or shift, cancel. C or control in-game menu, F4 full screen, hold escape to quit, when HP is zero, you lose. Config. <laughs> this! That is a very, very earthbound tuba right there. What? It's gonna be a lot of this, isn't there? Man! Okay, so they've got a whole bunch of accessibility options. Shake on hurt. The phrasing is so unusual, but also you know exactly what they mean. Always allow retry. Oh. Interesting. That starts off off. Auto sprint, auto fire toggle, auto rhythm. Auto rhythm. Are we gonna have a rhythm game? Amazing. And then easy mode. It makes sense actually. Auto sprint is probably helpful if your hands hurt when you press down buttons the whole time. Auto fire toggle. I guess that's like to simplify button usage. Auto rhythm is probably if you don't have an innate sense of rhythm, you still deserve to be able to play video games. And it's nice to know that easy mode exists. Of these, the only ones I could see myself changing is depending on how always allow retry works. But other than that, I think I'm gonna give it a try straight out of the box. Because we'll see if I turn on auto sprint. I don't know. Joystick config. Okay. My controllers A and B are backwards. Okay, so the bottom button is yes. The side button is no. And the top button is menu. You can control the dead zone. Control test. Okay, so this is yes, <clears throat> this is no, and this is menu. Also, I love the flashing exit sign. Yes, and I do appreciate that we're playing as Toby Fox himself. <coughs> By the way, how is this? Would you like for me to go full screen? Because I can try to do that. It'll be slightly harder for me to keep up with chat. But would you like for me to make it full screen so that it it's bigger and easier for you to see? Because I'm wondering if it's a little fuzzy on your end or if we're good. Okay. If I could make it like a little bit bigger on this screen, I would, but it's fine as it is. Okay, if we're good, then we're gonna... I can do this. All right. It's just really good music. I'm just really enjoying it. 
saying it, okay? All right, we're gonna begin the game. Remember, no spoilers, no backseating. If, if you want to spoil or backseat, we have a stream spoilers channel that you can go to on my Discord. And somebody should probably have made a thread specifically for Undertale Yellow. And you can all join in together. You can speculate about stuff together. You can yell about things together. Um, you can uh, you can yell together to your heart's content when I guess and get it wrong, or guess and get it right, or am just taking forever to hit the button because there's a sweet guitar solo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna do one small change, making it bigger. We're gonna do that. Cause, yeah, I actually think that that might be a good idea. <sighs> Config. This is gonna take over my face. Just give me a second. How do I make it? Oh, oh wait, F4. Oh wait, no, that's not right. How do I make it bigger? Not on that screen. No. We put it over here. Is there a way to make it bigger? Can you resize? I don't think you can resize. I'm sorry, I'm afraid this is about what we got unless you want it. Hold on. Problem is, this is the <laughs> this is it size. And I could pull it here, but it's still pretty small. Hold on, let's try something. Oh, hey! Okay, hold on. We're gonna do that. Give me a sec. We're swapping screens. This could be wild. I don't usually put chat up in here. I have two screens. Okay. All right, folks. Sorry about this. This is how it goes. Are you ready for computer to enhance? It's gonna take over everything. All right, hold on. No, I can fix this. Ah! <laughs> Give me a sec. Okay, let's see what this does. It wouldn't be a Lauren stream <clears throat> without technical difficulties. Oh, you know what we're gonna do? Okay, hold on, we're gonna try this. It's gonna take a minute. Okay, now let's try that. Ah, oh, almost, almost. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Okay, unfortunately with this, the moment that I click off of it, it disappears, but <clears throat> can we live with this, folks? <laughs> and I can try to tweak it later. <laughs> oh man. Okay. I can't drag resize because the moment I click off of it. <laughs> All right. All right. We're going to do it. We're going to begin the game. Oh man, yeah, this is way too detailed for a Toby, Spo Toby Fox sprite. Amazing. Hello, friend. Are you a, that's the gender neutral term for a cow person or a cowboy or a cowgirl. I don't think it's cow person. Cowpoke? Cowpoke. We're gonna go with cowpoke. <clears throat> Clover! Clover. Clover. Okay. Item, wrong button. Missing poster? Oh no, that tells a story right there. Who am I looking for? Info. 
the grim reminder of your mission. Justice is needed. Okay. That's really interesting because that's not what I expected. I expected that a missing poster would be like, my younger sibling has disappeared on a mountain and I'm going to go try to find them. But instead, it appears to be that we are tracking someone down to enact justice on them. So I guess it must, this must be the justice soul, which I don't remember. Stats. Clover, in quotes. Probably the name they go by. Level one. That won't be changing. HP, 20 out of 20. Toy gun. Worn hat. Rubber ammo. Patch. Well, I have to not actually weapon. Okay, hold on. Wrong button. No. Button. No. Button. No. But stats. Button. Okay. All right. Clover. Poor little laptop. You can hear it. Maybe. Gonna take off. Is Flowey gonna come after me? It's interesting because we kind of know how this game has to end. But I have no idea how we're going to get there or what that's going to be like. But I will say, if this game ends with me dying horribly to Asgore, I mean, it wouldn't be the first time that it happened. <laughs> it is kind of strange to be like, I know this place and I know what's going to happen here and my character doesn't know what's going to happen here and I don't know how it's going to happen or if it's not going to happen, it's going to mess with my expectations. Oh. Hold on. We're going to do this a lot. Nice arpeggios. <laughs> Somebody dreams of playing guitar on stage. That's what that is. Right there. the person who arranged this track is a keyboardist who performed that part live and recorded it instead of programming it in because it has that feel either that or it's meant to, to come across that way but that's it feels like they're like playing with their knob that changes the notes a little and stuff yeah all right frog it the moment of truth i have beaten hades have I gotten better at bullet health? Am I gonna die constantly in this game or not? <laughs> I just realized that we're about to meet Toriel and I'm having an emotion right now, I'm sorry. I need to just play the game. I'm sorry, I'm overwhelmed just thinking about it. <laughs> I just need to play the game. You notice how this loops a little more smoothly than the other one because you're expected to listen to the song a lot. Okay, we can do this, we can do this. You notice the fight, there's a gun. Because I'm a sweet cowboy, gender neutral. <laughs> All right. 
You're gonna have to deal with me looking down at this game because it is down here instead of up there, which is how things usually work. Oh, it's amazing. Okay. All right, frog it. We're gonna do all of these things and try not to die. Threat? Check. Frog it, attack three, defense two. Life is difficult for this enemy. Did, did the text twitch like that in the original? I don't remember that, but some of these letters are wiggling. When you play Undertale for the first time, you get to know Toriel, and you have feelings as you get to know her. But at this point, we all have a history with her. <laughs> and the, the, the conflict here is that my character doesn't have that history with her, but I do. I have a lot of it. I'm sorry, I'm just going to be stupidly emotional for no apparent reason. This is what we're doing. <laughs> the mysterious goat lady scared the frog it away. I like that her outfit's just a little bit different too. You know, it's a different time period. And I love her just sliding on. And frog it just slides away. All right. I, I don't know if I can do voices for them. I forgot something very important, which is that I already know most of the cast of this game. <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> I can get through this. Right. You must be wondering what is going on. I'm Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through here every day to see if anyone has fallen down. It does not happen often. You were the first to come here in a long time. Do not be afraid, little one. I will do my best to protect you here. Come, I shall guide you through your new home. <laughs> there used to be a save point out here, wasn't there? I guess they haven't installed it yet. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. <laughs> Thank you, Toriel. They must be solved in order to move from room to room. Allow me to demonstrate. We are free to proceed now. Follow me, my child. There are more puzzles ahead. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones. Both walk not the middle road.
In this room, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press A to read signs. <clears throat> I recently played Paper Mario Thousand in your door, which has stuff written on the back of signs sometimes. Stay on the road. <laughs> yes, mom. Hey folks, what instrument has the melody in this version of this song? The strings are joining in now, but if I if it wasn't almost 8 p.m. here, I would bust out my flute and play it along. <laughs> No, I can't. I live in an apartment with a roommate. <laughs> I cannot just bust out my flute like I could when I played Undertale and lived in a duplex with a partner and could play flute at any hour. Unfortunately, life has changed. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna see what she says. Oh, I can't just walk. Oh, do you need some help? Please flip the switch on the north wall. Thanks, Toriel. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I don't know how neurotic they are about writing multiple lines of dialogue and letting you comment on things. Splendid, I am proud of you, my child. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, what? Excuse me. Ah, I wasn't lined up right to talk to her. Go on. I believe in you. Only one more switch remains. <laughs> oh no, my child. That is the wrong switch. I have labeled the one you need to flip. I've done tutorial voices for things, but not in a few years' time. <laughs> it should have opened by now. I'm sure I labeled the correct lever. Ah, do not worry, little one. Try flipping the other switch. <laughs> I must have labeled the wrong, wrong switch. I apologize if I have confused you, my child. Please flip the switch that is not labeled. Okay. <sighs> um. My child. Are you all right? Oh dear. I am afraid I cannot reach you. I must leave for a moment. You will stay there, will you not? Do not wander. Many monsters are unfriendly toward humans. Fret not, my child. I will protect you. Please, wait there. All right. That, that was my missing poster. It went away. I'm gonna make, it, make my laptop a little brighter. Shouldn't affect anything on your end, no. Okay, perfect. This is Undertale Yellow. It is a fan game that took seven years to create and has uh, Toby Fox's seal of approval. <clears throat> Interesting to be protected by yellow flowers again here. All right. The sign is obscured by leaves. Only a few words are visible. I'm going to look at those words, obviously. Caution. Be. Run. Okay. Thank you for the reminder game. 
Oh my god, look at the running animation! It's really cute, and for some reason... If you'll notice, like, the head bobs from side to side as they run. You see that? When we run sideways? Isn't that adorable? Oh my god, that's so cute. <clears throat> okay, we, we gotta go the wrong way. Or try to go the wrong way. Everywhere we can. No problem here. <laughs> That is not a pathway. Okay, well, that is not a pathway. Okay. I'm presumably going to have to outrun something. That'll be fun. Are you ready? Stats. I have no, I have notice I have no items. <coughs> yeah, no, it, it it feels like the the way the way the run animation works kind of feels like a something from the mother series to me. It's very nicely done. Oh. Oh, this. This definitely gives me Secret Lab vibes. I'm gonna jump, aren't I? The moment I cross this line, something bad's gonna happen and I'm gonna have to run. I can do it! I can do it! I beat Dark Souls. I beat Hades. I can play a video game. What is that? I don't know what that is. Okay. Of course, he's got to be here. But kind of, I guess he's got a high pitched voice. <clears throat> to have taught you how things work around here. She didn't? I guess little old me will have to do then. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That is your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your LV represents your love. It's... Heh. I'm sure you won't have to worry about that. In the underground, monsters may try to attack you. If you see bullets like these, you need to avoid them at all costs. Oh, honey, where are you? In all your resets, where are you? Dodging my bullets now. Here they come. Nice job there, buddy. In case you do get hit, I can save your progress. That means if something bad happens, I can make it unhappen for you. You probably want to go home, don't you? Well, you've got a long journey ahead. If you ever need to save, come look for me. I'll leave these little things around for you. That way it's easy to find me. If you see one, don't hesitate to call me. And then I'll save for you, like I just saved for you now. There's one more thing. King of all the monsters, Asgore. He's been killing humans. The only way out is killing him and, well, you're pretty small. That doesn't matter too much though. What matters is you've got me on your side. I'll let you get going, but please be careful. There's all sorts of dangerous traps down here. And some of the monsters in this place, I hear they don't like visitors, so good luck.
So the thing is, we know that Flowey's done a lot of resets by the time Undertale canon starts. But we know that it was a, a process for him to become Flowey as we know him. And I don't know where in that timeline he is. And I, I don't know how much to trust him because we know how things went in Undertale. But he, he might not be like that. He, he might not actually be kind of broken yet. Which would almost hurt worse. Wouldn't it? Because if he's not being ironic here, <clears throat> like, that kind of sounds like something Azrael would say. Take care of yourself. I'll help you out. Don't hesitate to give me a call. Doesn't it? And I don't know where that, I don't know where he stands now. And that's really disorienting. Howdy! Looks like you got it then. Dark Ruins entrance. Safe. <clears throat> Why the long face, pal? Don't worry, this place is way better than up there. That old lady would have just spoiled all of our fun. Okay. Okay. Presumably, he's some, some distance from Asriel. Even if he's not flowy as we know him yet. Come on, let's not stand around here all day. <clears throat> You really only need one save. <laughs> Do you not trust me or something? Come on, I'm your pal. I got your back. Look, what do you want from me? You should get going. Okay. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Wherever we are in the ruins, <clears throat> nobody's been here in a long time. These two are a different color. Okay, it alternates. All right. This is an S, but it doesn't actually mean anything. <clears throat> so these are just stones. This pillar has fallen. There's something more somber right now. Did you hear that? The music is so good. I mean, I guess I'll probably be able to hear more of it as I go, but... <clears throat> is giving fighting a try. New enemy. 
I have no items. All right. It hasn't been a whole hour that I've been playing the game. I, I had a whole little chat before we started. Giving people like the like rundown of like how we do things around here. So we started a little late. <laughs> All right, flyer. Let's check it. Flyer, attack three, defense two. Flyer feels nothing. I've been working out. No big deal, Winky Smiley. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's coming back. Flyer doesn't think the position of enemy fits him. I, I, did, I, I did say new enemy, didn't I? I'm sorry, Flyer. Maybe I shouldn't have judged so quickly. <clears throat> Comfort. You inform Flyer that his life isn't half over. He has a whole half left to go. Any of the rest of us aged since Undertale came out? I... This isn't really me. What? Hoi! 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 Flyer is ready to return to his regular life. Mercy's not highlighted, so... Yeah, but everything is remixed, Tom! It's awesome! Do you hear? Do you hear? By the way, let me know how the audio balance between me talking and music is. I will turn the music up when I'm rocking out. Do you hear the sweet keyboard solo style playing that they're doing here? You can't because I'm talking over it, but. Oh no, that means that he's merciful. Mercy. Spare. You won! You earned zero XP and two gold. Well done. It's a sign. It says exposition in large friendly letters. Oh, oh, amazing. I'm sorry. This is some good wacky sense of humor. What happens if I hit this one? Bam, bam, bam. It's not going to be in order, so when it was the last one, I figured it had to be this. <laughs> <coughs> All right, let's do this. Oh, we're about to be delivered exposition in the form of signs. Wonderful. Stuck? Press this for a do-over. Or don't. <laughs> Excellent. What does this say? Make what is dim bright. Make what is dark light. Oh. <sighs> Hold on. Okay. Dark, light, light, dark, light. So we, we want to have two, three, and five dark. That's two, three. That's correct. Flyers giving fighting a try. To inform Flyer that his life isn't half over. He has a whole half left to go. Oop, well. Okay. Why didn't it go down? What? Okay. You're right. Something needs to change. Oh, jeez. You can't just spawn right into me. That's... That's not... 
that's not nice. You saw that, right? They spawned into me. You have to make them all dark and then you have to make them all light, I guess. That's okay. This would not be the first time that I didn't understand a puzzle. You can't comment on that. That's fine. Private property, <laughs> no trespassing. Oh good, am I about to get my butt kicked by somebody? This is an Undertale game, there will be no swearing. From Lauren. Toriel may drop an F-bomb if she wants. I won't tell her no. This place is, oh, it's a new kind of flower. A bed of well-attended flowers. They smell nice. Same description. Wait, 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 that's the fairy man. Hello. I'm happy to finally meet you face to face. Wait, no, it's not. No, it's not. I. Wait. How long has it been? I was wondering if you'd ever come back. Dot, dot, dot. No. Too forward. Who am I kidding? I'll never be able to meet you in this state. I just hope you know I had no choice. It must be this way. Are those goat horns? Huh? Because I don't recognize the tone of this figure's voice. Who... I must be seeing things. I don't know that voice. And who else would be here on this side of the ruins? <clears throat> Vanilla draws near. They're adorable. They're holding a pen. Alright, check. Vanilla, attack three, defense three, a sketchy character. <laughs> the artist's life is one of solitude. Oh no, please don't do this. Please don't do this. Nilla scraps her drawing and starts over. Oh, I no longer have my... I used to have a bunch of sketchbooks here and I was just so... I've done a lot of that. Anyone who has ever been an artist of any sort relates. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> Penilla. Compliment. This is not going to go well. Probably. Artists are notoriously bad at taking compliments. <laughs> Ask me how I know. You compliment Vanilla's work. She looks a little uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm delighted. I don't really think it's ready for people yet. That's amazing. 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 Perfection. The battlefield is covered in eraser shaving. <laughs> the, 
the artists on the team are like, yeah, yeah. This is why their sprites are so detailed and their backgrounds are more detailed. <clears throat> oh, Pictomancer? Pictomancer, which has its roots in Final Fantasy VI, I'll have you know, with Realm, the first Pictomancer. You put yourself in between Penilla and her work when it distracts her. I suppose I could use a break. I think that activated Mercy. I think I saw Mercy flash there. Nilla is packing up her art supplies for the day. You won. Two XP. No, zero XP and two gold. That's what I mean. <clears throat> Hi, Flowey. You can tell me what's up. Howdy. I see you're still in one piece. You saw that weirdo, right? If you want to get out of here, you'll have to go through him. Okay, we got the pronoun. He shouldn't be a problem, though. And if he is, that's why I'm here. Atrium. Dark Ruins. Again? Okay, you're double saved now. <laughs> I'm gonna- Flowey's just gonna attack me. <laughs> for saving too much? Really? How many saves do you need? <laughs> That's never gonna get old. <laughs> oh no. Plot progression. Which way am I supposed to go? This one looks... Don't answer. By the way, for anyone who um, is hasn't watched me in a while, uh, as a reminder, I don't do spoilers or backseating. I will occasionally ask, but if, I, if I'm asking you folks something, we actually have chat hat. Thanks to Chrono. I will put this hat on my head and I will give you the terms of the question that I'm asking. Like, is it a yes or no question? Um, is it A or B? Or can you give it to me in the form of a hint coup? Which is exactly what it sounds like, a hint in the form of a haiku. Um, I, I request in the case of hint coups that you discuss amongst yourselves in the stream spoilers chat, just to make sure that like you're all in agreement this is the hint coup we're going with. Um. <clears throat> All right. Hi, Penilla. We're gonna distract her. I have been at this for a while. Penilla, make sure that you, uh, don't just sit there and draw without eating or drinking for 10 hours. This looks kind of like where I'm supposed to go. Cornfield? So what's going on over this way? Vanilla's gonna draw some blood. Oh, a lemonade stand. It looks like a juicer and then a messy bowl of lemonade. Ba -da 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 -da, ba -da 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 -da. A little bit of heartache right there for you. Or, 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 um, Vasquez theme. I believe that's in both of them. According to the price list, it's a lemonade stand. 5G a glass. Take some. Yes. You pour yourself a glass, but there's no attendant to take your money. What poor service? Leave a tip? Yes. How much? Large amount. You leave 5G in the tip jar. Your conscience feels light as a feather. Excellent. Item. Lemonade. Info. Lemonade heals 7 HP. Doesn't smell too appetizing. Flower, are you gonna give me sass? I got lemonade, sassy! <laughs> Sorry. It is funny to talk to him as though I know him. Okay, the corn doesn't tell me anything. This doesn't tell me anything. Maze time. Sweet corn hops up excitedly. Check. 
sweet corn. Attack three, defense three. Constantly on a sugar rush. Remember, I always love you, heart. Please don't murder me. I would really rather you didn't, but I appreciate that you follow a pattern. Sweet corn jumps up and down in celebration. I can lick it, hug it, or give it a gift. Licking it just seems weird, so I'm gonna hug it. You give sweet corn a big hug. She briefly gets stuck to your shirt. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm feeling the love. Sweet corn is smiling contentedly. Okay, she just wants friendship. I can do that. I can give friendship. So this is indeed a corn maze. Oh, those actually exist, you know. Panilla encounters you. <laughs> Sweet corn comes out of nowhere acting excited. All right, so of these two, who's the bigger problem to deal with? I'm gonna get rid of sweet corn first. Give her a hug. I love hugs, she says. Oh my god! Oh my god. They get way harder. So all my hard work leads to this? Oh my god, what are you doing? No, no! Okay, this game got harder. I gotta like check the wrong ways. I'm gonna die. Okay, well maybe if it's just her. Maybe it'll be okay. I'm feeling the love. Ah. It's much less bad when she's alone. There's a button there. I bet I want to hit that button. There's candy corn in this maze. I'm gonna go get it. What does this say? Friend, I planted these for you. It isn't much, but I hope it brightens your day. It always brightened mine. Who? All right, flyer. Flyer is having a midlife crisis. Is he flyer because he throws flies at you? He's the one who, who... <laughs> it's a rejected piece of corn. <laughs> Nobody likes candy corn. Take it, yes. Obtained candy corn. All right. Items, candy corn. Restores nine HP. Your teeth hurt just looking at it. <coughs> I'm not a fan of candy corn. Controversial opinion, no. Occasionally. People do like candy corn. Does anyone here actually like candy corn? Because I'm sorry if you do, I don't mean to be rude to you. Did I go this way already? I did, didn't I? Yeah, I started that way. You can already feel the cavities. Sweet corn A, sweet corn B, okay. What are you doing? Stop! No!
You can do this, she says. I'm glad that I've befriended some corn. <clears throat> There's rocks. A little pile of conveniently bullet-shaped pebbles. Take them. I guess so. Obtained pebbles. No problem here. I thought I was going to walk off that cliff, but I was concerned. Sorry, I'm just going to sing along with things a lot. Pebbles, weapon at attack three. Like rocks, but smaller. Good makeshift ammo. Well, good thing we won't ever be using that. Hi, Flowey. Every save, Flowey. Yes. You, you offer me free heals and you think I'm not going to take them, my friend? <clears throat> who is... Who is talking? Who is being talked to? I want to know. Friend, do not fear the unknown. Sometimes they're nice. Intimidating spikes block your path. All right, it's more sweet corn. Oh, geez. I'm doing all right. Sweet corn believes in me. All right. Is it wrong to hold doubt in my actions? Oh, you're brooding, friend. I enjoyed life before. I did, but I can't go back. What happened that day would only repeat. What is this? Why do they appear every time I start modeling? <laughs> <clears throat> the architecture down here is brutalism, yes. I'm glad to know that this monologuing character is... They're calling out the monologue as I'm joking about them brooding. I need more rest. All right. Well, we found somebody who's dramatic and possibly tragic. Excellent. <clears throat> I just, I usually like to walk. I don't usually like... <laughs> Hello, color. Roram. It's mirror, but it's mirrored. <sighs> they got it. They get it. They know what they're doing. <clears throat> Alright, Roram. Check. Critique and smile. Check. Adjust. Critique and smile. Alright. Check. Roram. Attack 4, defense 1. Roram's expression is blank. Yellow is the new black. Oh, shoot! No, 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 no. Jeez, I'm gonna die. You are momentarily blinded by Roram's dazzling shine. Why is she smiling? 
You give a slight smile, Roram smiles back. Smiles are never out of style. Yep. Not quite sure what to do about this one. This song pushes every single one of my buttons. I love spaghetti western music. <clears throat> and this has like a little bit of that vibe. Oh, they had an actual, that was an actual, an actual guitarist playing that then. Well, I mean, Determination is one of the few songs that I actually finished covering from Undertale. I'm sorry. Oh my god, it's so good. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to cover this. No question. I didn't offer my help just to see you die. Let's get moving. Continue. Welcome back. I really like actually that that's um Okay. So we do have to rewatch cutscenes. Well, Flowey, you better get used to me. Saving. Constantly. Because I feel like I died a lot in Undertale, didn't I? Jeez. I was thinking I'd gotten better. Um, but I, I think I haven't actually. Shoot. Well, fortunately I'm about to go save with Flowey. So. See if we survive this. I feel like this is they've made they've made a decision. Yeah, we might we might wind up switching to easy mode. So when you make a sequel to a game, you have a couple of choices. You can either make a game that has similar experiences, or you can make a game with the assumption that somebody who played all the way through the previous game will have developed the skills from playing that game that they need to play your game and make it harder. Now for me, <coughs> the, the, the tricky thing, 
is that a lot of people played Undertale who don't play bullet hells, and Undertale was about the limits of what they could do. I'm obviously still one of them. As it turns out, I don't think that beating Hades has in any way translated to being any better at bullet hells. Um, so I might turn this on to easy mode. We're going to give it a little, a little more try, but if I die a few more times in the first section of the game, I am probably going to turn it to easy mode and there is no shame in doing that. Cause my, uh, oh, that wasn't right. Okay. Critique? It's highlighted in yellow to tell me this is what I should do, huh? You critique your appearance. Roram is very pleased. <laughs> oh no! It's dangerous. You probably shouldn't actually do that. Although, looking too often in the mirror can contribute to that. You look perfect, Roram says. Oops. Okay. So Roram's, uh, the trick with Roram is to hide, stay up at the top. We're going to save here. Howdy! Golly, this place sure is dead. All the monsters are all quiet and lurking. That's not like monsters at all. Don't let this ruin your impression of the underground. We'll leave this dump behind soon enough. This one has a cat drawing on it. There appears to be a drawing of a cat scribbled on it. Does this make it a cat? Does this make it a caterpillar? Amazing. You're already saved. Let's get a move on. All right. Oh, good. Creepy. Ominous. It's getting darker. I don't think that's good, Flowey. Flowey. Desabat makes his presence known. Check him. Desabat. Attack for death five. Missing his quiet solitude. Don't move. Don't make a sound. Hush, hush. Don't move is blue. I have played Undertale. As bad as my memory is, the combination of having played Undertale and seeing that in blue reminds me that when the blue thing passes over you, you stand still and you don't take damage. Desabad. <laughs> Desabad is not enjoying the music. 
All right. This is a song that's meant to be played live in a band. Let's talk. Just about hushes you furiously. Move in silence. Hush, hush. Ah. Just about twitches his large ears. He's not like amused. I'm gonna watch him. You watch just about in silence. He seems to appreciate it. Don't shy away. Hush, hush. Does about look slightly more at ease? Yeah, I didn't think so. Shoo. You shout and jump around trying to scare Dust about away. He isn't pleased. Whispers only, please. Hush, hush. I'm just gonna not get hit by any of those. Okay, we're gonna watch. Hush, puppy. Oh good, he has more moves. Okay, we're gonna just keep watching him in silence. Don't shy away, hush hush. Just about gives you a nod of approval. Not yet. I'm gonna keep watching him. Do you see? He's, he's got a little smiley, but he has a. He, if you made noise, he's very cute. Watch just about in silence. He seems to appreciate it. More quiet, please. That's about is enjoying the silence. I'm gonna die. <clears throat> oh look at how cute he is. He's going to do a happy face. You watch just about in silence. He seems to appreciate it. You hear that? No. Good. More of that one, please. Desabat is being lulled to sleep. <clears throat> I'm going to just watch him. You watch just about in silence. Oh, look at how happy he is. His little mouth. Oh. He's happy. He's so happy. He's grinning. Sweet silence. Desabat is ready to return to sleep. Sweet silence. Oh, he's so cute. I declare you an honorary sentinel of silence. I trust you to keep peace and order here. I shall go conquer new lands in the name of quiet. This is a very high honor, so keep it. Hush, hush. Let's try not to die. What happens if we go back? I just don't want to go down there with no health. <clears throat> oh my god, look at how adorable they are. Oh, well, look. I'm a little cautious. <clears throat> Howdy! You seem to be doing well. Only one death. See? Aren't you glad you have me around? Oh, good. That's a nice touch. I wonder if you have a bunch of deaths, if he makes fun of you for it. <clears throat> it's great to be such a needed friend. But not too needed, right? What? Not happy with your death, Tally? Haven't you ever heard the phrase, don't shoot the messenger? <laughs> Crispy Scroll is looking for someone to talk to. Oh man, Crispy Scroll. I'm not sure what's crispy about you, but you're still adorable. <clears throat> Let's check. Crispy Scroll. Crispy Scroll, attack four, defense three. Looking for someone who can match his enthusiasm. You must be the antagonist. Oh my god. He's really cool. 
Crispy Squirrel is asking if he can get a picture with you. I don't know what transform is, but we're gonna do it. You and Crispy Squirrel perform a magical transformation sequence. A magical transformation sequence. I'm sorry, that one got lost in the squeak. <laughs> it's like, surely this can't be a transformation sequence, like a magical girl transformation. My friend, I should not have doubted an Undertale fan. He just says, ah, a lot. What are you dropping on me? Don't do it, don't do it, don't, don't do it, don't do it. Crispy Scroll can't believe that just happened. Oh, Crispy Scroll. I don't know if he liked that or not. What if we yell? You join Crispy Scroll. <laughs> it's excited yelling. <sighs> Amazing. Wait, do you speak fluent reference? I just understood. Folks, this is Crunchyroll, the anime website. So everything is an anime reference. I just got that, so it's fine. We're, we're getting things together. <laughs> Crispy Squirrel is 50% powered up. Are we gonna judge together? Let's find out. Give Crispy Squirrel a judgmental look. He's, oh, he seems offended. He doesn't like that. Hey, I don't judge your head cannons. Okay, I'm sh are these ramen bowls or something that he's dropping on me? Crispy Squirrel makes an obscure reference. Okay. We're gonna yell together. I can feel the power coursing through my ribbons. Crispy Squirrel hits 100%. He has reached Super Crispy Mode 2K. Amazing. Thanks, Crunchyroll. Incredible. I'm gonna die. Maybe I should keep moving forward. I'm gonna die. So I need to make everything... Just hitting things at random, by the way. A handful of them did, kind of. There's a door. Let's go look at the door. You jostle the gate. It doesn't budge. Up. This way, this way. Maybe I did something wrong.
Okay, there's nothing else here. Okay, we'll go back there. <clears throat> Not actually. So the it's really interesting the way that they have the the repeated like the echoes that die out gives it the feeling of being in a cave where your voice might like echo down to the next part of the cave. Um, then we've got, of course, our ominous, deep instruments. Nice. It's, it's a good song. It's not incapacitating, like the, like the, the death song is incapacitating for me, but it's good. I seem to recall what I once saw so often. saw so often what I remembered it seems is now forgotten so then never mind I guess I'll try this again I seem to recall what I once so so saw so I saw something and I think I'm remembering something I've seen a lot but what I remember Others have forgotten. So then, never mind, I guess. It's a strange thing to write on a wall. A feather? A stray feather. Oh, good, I can still read sprite designs. Take it, sure. You got a stray feather. Obviously, we have to look at this immediately. Armor, defense two, an old forgotten feather. It needs a good preening. Oh, okay, wait, can I equip that? I have a hat. If I put on the feather, you stick the feather into your hat. It gives you a proud feeling. Amazing. That means that I can look at my patch. Patch. Armor defense zero. It's not strong, but it's trustworthy. Just the hat's not going anywhere, I guess. Oh, it's a maze. That was where the feather was. Okay. <gasps> the bat is snoozing. I'm not going to go bug the bat. Unless I have to. You notice a dark path beyond the rocks, but you can't squeeze past them. You ate too many cookies. Does anybody get that? Okay, it looks like we've got no choice but to sneak past the bat. I'm going to go quietly. See? Just quiet. Quiet. All right, your sneeze. Unless you snooze. You snooze? I, I don't bug you. See, look at how cute. He is so adorable. Oh, he's wearing headphones on his ears. <clears throat> Alright, snoozy. Normally I would talk to him because I'd like to talk to every NPC, but he's sleeping. I would never wake him. He would be sad. Oh, hello. Broody McBruderson. Mm -hmm. Ah. Mm -hmm. Um, like the voice sounds like like a teenager's voice. It's not like it's not a deep Asgore voice, but it's it's not a little kid voice, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know who you are, but I ask you, mm -hmm. please leave. It can't be another boss monster. I don't think. Because <clears throat> those kind of look like goat horns. I don't 
know. Property of Dalve. That monster in the cloak. <laughs> Dalve. Okay. No trespassing. Is he a vampire? Because his name is Vlad. Backwards. In the same way that Alucard is Dracula backwards. <laughs> oh my god, maybe he's a vampire half. <clears throat> oh my god, he does seem to be brooding and dramatic enough. That he could either be a vampire, half. <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> See, the, the joke is those of us who role played online when we were kids in the 90s. This, you know. Anyway, um. <laughs> um, or he could be goth. That's also possible. All right. Howdy! Not too far now. Just gotta deal with that downer. <laughs> oh my god, Flowey. Then you're out of the ruins. See you on the other side, pal. Oh my god. There's corn in the spider web. I'm definitely gonna eat that. <laughs> There's corn on the cup. <laughs> See, because it's corn on the cob. Oh my god. Why are you like this? I love it. I, I'm not complaining. I mean, I'm complaining in the way that's not complaining. Can I take the corn on the cobweb? No, I'm just supposed to laugh at the ridiculousness. Oh my... There is a corn shaped like a dog but a mermaid there's a oh there's a corn dog hiding amongst the corn cobs I'm dying I'm taking psychic damage right now <laughs> take it yes obtain corn dog <laughs> borf borf <clears throat> It's a crate with special corn written on it in pink crayon. The crayon really makes it. A pile of crates all containing corn. You're getting tired of the stuff. Nuh-uh. You're getting tired of the stuff. A pile of crates, yes. Oh, I can walk on these flowers. Oh. Don't step on the flowers. Too late. So you have to step on the flowers to talk to that. that. Oh, this is the other side. Oh my god, he was just walking around brooding. Amazing. <sighs> Mr. Vlad. And there's like, a, a, what I thought initially might be... Did I come from that way? I think I did. Did I come from this way? Hold on, we gotta investigate all the ways. Oh, that must be that door that was closed. Wait. Okay. Property of Dalv, yes. Amazing. What? You scared of that doom and gloom guy? Look, you just gotta fight your way through him. He'll go down easy. And in case you haven't noticed, he really won't be missed. So go get him. Okay, it's interesting to see Flowey as pretty, pre I, I think we would, we could say pretty broken at this point, but he's, he's not quite as, quote, not quite as done as he is in Undertale canon, you know? 
Like, he's still deriving some humor from carrying on this pretense. There's water. I think that's water. It looks like water to me. Hello, Broody McBruderson. What's up, Vlad? You are still following me? I thought I made it clear that I want to be left alone. I don't understand. You... You look just like them. Is this some sort of haunting? Or have you come to finish the job? Retreating here wasn't enough, so you hunted me down. Right? I can either what or dot dot dot. I'm gonna what? And I was just starting to accept my reality. The cruelty! I'm sorry. Whatever I did to you that day was not my intention. I was only... Never mind. Words aren't enough. I... I don't want to fight anybody, but you've invaded my home. The exit is blocked and you can't stay here. I will not allow it. Okay, he looks like that character from Adventure Time. Doesn't he? Mar is that Marceline? The gay vampire lady. With her princess girlfriend. He looks like he could be her cousin or brother or something. I don't know. There's just something about the way his face is drawn. This is adorable. I have not watched much Adventure Time, so I don't think it's quite my sense of humor. Um, but you pick up on things. If you're on the internet, you pick up on things via osmosis. <clears throat> Only one thing to do. Dalve musters his fighting spirit. Go full gothic necklord on me. This is written by a keyboardist, the soundtrack. Continue to have unique themes for all of the bosses. We're not going to get very far very fast, are we? All right, Dalv. Let's check. Well, I think it's supposed to feel like a theremin. I don't know that it necessarily is actually a theremin, but I think it's what it's doing is what a theremin does. Which would make sense because theremins are used for both science fiction but also for ghostly things and spooky things. And we've got. Boopy Town, Mr. Angsty Vampire Man. Boy, you can't tell me this guy is any older than the vampire equivalent of like 18 or 19. <laughs> I'm sorry. Kiddo, Dal, attack six, death four, wants to be left alone. I don't suppose you can leave the way you entered, could you? That would be easier for both of us. Dalv takes a break to brush off his cloak. I mean, I guess he could be in his early 20s, but he, he, he gives me a youthful, a more youthful vibe personally, but that's fine. Let's try talking to him. Dalv does not seem to value communication. Come on, buddy. Where did you come from anyway? 
There aren't any accessible entrances. He looks confused. His little face, he looks, he's like, what's going on here? Oh! I got distracted by his adorable, expressive little face. I'm gonna die. Dalv seems to be dreading his neck attack. Cool, let's die. Handshake. Dalv doesn't notice your offer of goodwill. All I know is that somehow you found me. Sorry to make things difficult, but I'm not cowering away this time. Dalv assumes an intimidating facade. It's a nice touch that it's a facade. Handshake. Dalv doesn't notice your offer of goodwill. The other monsters. Did you pester them as well? Not that I care much to keep up with their activity. Ah, shoot. Yep. Well, that's fine. Flowey says, This loner packs a punch. Nothing you can't handle, though. Oh, I can retry. Nice. Alright, Dalv. I'm gonna try talking to you. Dalv does not seem to value communication. seems to be in conflict with his more humane side. Perhaps his human side? Perhaps he is in fact a vampire half. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Alright. Yeah, like, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be reminiscent of a theremin. Because that's like a spooky ghosty thing. And his music is very spooky spooky horror type thing all I know is that somehow you found me yeah all right try handshake Dolph doesn't notice your offer of goodwill the other monsters okay Shoot, it speeds up. I'm gonna die. This region of the ruins is my home. And my home has rules. The residents understand that. Oh, you know what? There was a bat. And he's a vampire. Path. <laughs> I guess I probably ought to heal. It feels kind of uncool to... Lemonade. It's very sour. You recovered 7 HP. But it seems as if you never got the memo. That or you're purposely ignoring my wishes. That was really cool looking. Dal takes a break to brush off his cloak. But what's with that sad face? Don't you understand? Don't you remember me? But 
Could it be that... No, it isn't possible. You... You look so helpless. Different. But is it a front? <clears throat> no, you aren't trying to hurt me. You... You aren't who I believed you to be, are you? How could I be so foolish? I apologize. I truly do. This got out of hand. I... I don't know how I can make things right now. South looks unsure of what to do. Handshake. I figured that was gonna be it. <clears throat> now he's paying attention and I can offer him. I like... I should just say, I like the idea of this as, like, your cool, like, cowboy gender-neutral personality type. Giving a handshake feels, like, in keeping with that archetype. I like it. Dalv accepts your offer of goodwill. You want me to shake your hand? Even after I wrongfully attacked you. But that is... <clears throat> A sign of friendship. You're a human, right? Is it the same where you come from? I'm not sure. I didn't ever expect to meet another human. Okay, it's weird enough that Frisk looks just like Kara. Interesting if there is another human that looks just like this one. Let alone befriend them. Don't get me wrong. I'd love to have a friend. I mean, I think. I don't really remember what that entails. I guess I'll give it a shot if you will. Flowey, do not. Flowey, do not. Flowey, do not. I feel it in my bones, folks. Dolph looks unsure what to do. I'm going to spare him. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. He's dot dot dotting a bunch. What do friends do, actually? Do you want to um, see my house or something? I have to go there anyway, so I guess stop by if you have time. I love the he he's just an emo drama baby. Let's go into his house, man. I have to um, fix something in the other room. Sit down, get comfortable, take your shoes off. This is similar to his battle theme. I wonder what he's got to do in the other room or if he's just going to go freak out and talk to himself like, I can do this, I can do this. I can have a friend. Actually, please leave him on. Floors are a bit dirty. <coughs> Alright. Chat. Who here takes shoes off at home? And who here keeps shoes on at home? When I grew up, we kept shoes on in the house. Now I prefer to take my shoes off because I live downtown in a city and I walk around downtown and have also seen the light of the value of taking shoes off. This is not discourse. I'm just curious. Inside sandals and outside shoes. Yeah. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That's, that's very Japanese. Which was a thing I had to get used to when I visited Tokyo. I'm almost always wearing socks, so I walk around in my socks at home. Okay, so we don't actually have a lot of shoes on at home. I feel like that was very specific and regional. Um, that that was norm, the norm, and I think that that's kind of been changing. I'm curious about it. <clears throat> So, but when I go to my mom's house, she's still a shoes-on-in-the-house kind of person. It's interesting. 
And certainly when you're in somebody else's house, you follow their rules. So if they are shoes off or shoes on, you do what is uh, their preference. But I just, I find it really interesting. It's one of those little cultural differences from place to place and culture to culture and things. So, yeah, people just wear shoes all the time in those houses. Sometimes they don't wear the shoes into their bedrooms. But like walking around like the kitchen, the living room, the dining room, all that stuff. Yeah, they just wear their shoes. So. Yeah, no. It, like all of, almost all of my friends growing up there, their parents also were like shoes on and the house is fine. Like you can take your shoes off if you want to, but sometimes it's kind of like, why are you doing that? You don't have to do that, you know? Unless of course, like if you have mud and you know you have mud on your shoes, then you say, I've got mud on my shoes and you take them off. Anyway, it's interesting. I haven't swept since this morning, he says. You know, I sweep like every week or every other week. And that feels like a lot of sweeping to me. I guess he's just self-conscious because he's not used to having company. Oh, he's got a messy... Oh my god, look at his messy home. He changed into a... Is that like a peasant shirt? I think that's a peasant shirt. Oh my god. He's such a vampire. Yeah. <laughs> the joke is like... I don't remember where it originated. As Before memes were memes... Back in the day of like lol cats and the lolrus and things like so we're like talking way back when or before that um i don't remember if it was like a really old webcomic or what or maybe a story or something but there was this thing of this girl role playing in a chat in where we're all hanging out at the inn at the tavern and she was like a this half and half this and half that. Um, and there's also an, an older anime called uh, Dragon Half about a person, a girl who is half dragon. Was it off only in? Is that really, really, really old, Chrono, by internet standards? Like, I'm wanting to say back when I was in high school. Okay. Yeah, like, we're talking like, I'm gonna date myself here. Like, 2001. <laughs> <laughs> All of you people who are younger than me, that was probably it, Chrono. I feel like there were characters in it that talk like that. That phrase does not ring any bells, but my memory, as has been discussed, is really not very solid. Anyway. <laughs> I'm making fun of the, the way that teenagers in the 90s roleplayed in fantasy adventure table not tabletop just ch chat rooms it's probably elf only and I, I i will believe that chrono <laughs> all right <clears throat> but feel free to stay as long as you like a small table for one sits in the corner you can't help but notice it's fine craftsmanship hey can I speculate a really dumb thing that I have literally nothing to, uh, nothing to stand on, but I'm just gonna throw some, I'm, just, I'm gonna throw some stupid mini golfing out there. Are you ready, folks? Do you want stupid mini golfing? Well, you're gonna get it whether you want it. So, so, Clover is coming down here trying to find somebody else and enact justice. And there was another person who looked just like Clover who came through here and was violent. Perhaps Clover has a twin sibling who came through the underground and actually fought, but was like their evil twin. <clears throat> and so they're gonna enact justice by trying to stop their evil twin or maybe get revenge on their evil twin for doing something evil. <clears throat> Do not confirm or deny. This is not really based on anything. Yes, Clover's evil outlaw twin. That is a good way of putting it. <clears throat> it could happen. It could happen. I don't know. I just started the game. <clears throat> Did they have a mustache? I guess that's how you know they're evil or like a goatee. 
Although this is cowboys we're talking about, so like... <laughs> Underground ain't big enough for the two of us. Clover but evil. <laughs> I appreciate all of you indulging me with very silly, goofy western dialogue. <clears throat> Alright, you can't help but notice it's fine craftsmanship. Oh, he only has one friend, and that's himself. Clover's evil twin that ties damsels to chain tracks while twisting their mustache. Yes, perfect. It's a chair. Perfect for exciting activities, like sitting. Amazing. They could be- they could be a tumbleweed. They could be tumbleweed. It could be tumbleweed and clover. Tumbleweed is very western. Even though apparently tumbleweed is actually not indigenous- it's not a native plant to the US. So it's funny that it's associated with the west. <clears throat> apparently. So I've heard and read. I don't exactly have a huge selection of food. I don't get out much. Oh wait, I have some leftovers you can take with you. <laughs> he's, he's, he's gonna give me his leftovers, his snacks. Now granted, if he's a full vampire, I don't really want his bloody steak. Bloody, bloody, blood, blood. But we'll see what it is. <clears throat> I hope you like it. I made it for my birthday. Oh, he, he had to celebrate his birthday all alone. Oh, buddy. Sponge cake is my favorite, he says, smiling. Oh, he's adorable. It's a sponge covered in frosting. <sighs> take it. Yes, I will take the friendship cake and not eat it for the rest of the game. You got the sponge cake. Da, da, da. Sorry I didn't invite you. It was last week. Well, happy belated birthday, buddy. I will get you a present. You can come next year. Oh, man. <clears throat> I'm very happy that I actually have enough friends to come to a birthday party here in Toronto. It's exciting for me. Da, da, da. Let's take a look at the sponge cake. Heals 14 HP. A delicious sponge that doesn't scratch and has two times the absorption. <clears throat> Let's look at his junk. Wait. I thought that that was... Never mind, it's not junk. I thought that these were like trash wrappers or something, but I believe these are sketches and drawings. You like those? Those are my projects. I sometimes try to write books, like for kids and stuff. The table is covered in colorful pencils and pages strewn with cute pictures. He must have drawn... Oh, so he must have been the one who wrote with a pink crayon about the corn? And then drew the cat on the pillar for the caterpillar? And no, I didn't feed everyone sponges. My friend made me the flowy birthday cake. I sometimes kind of forget what colors things are outside this place. So I just make them up. That's one way of doing it. I think the kids will find it more interesting like that anyway. He's adorable. He's a super cute little kiddo. It might not be as educational though. Oh my god, he and Ralsei can be friends. <laughs> oh, there's another chair. This chair is just like the other one, but better. <laughs> For sitting. Oh, here's his wardrobe with a bat on top of it. Oh, how cute. It's an intimidating looking wardrobe. <laughs> Open it, yes. <gasps> There's a balloon floating slowly inside. It has a cute little happy face drawn on it. <sighs> He's adorable. Something about the combination of the music and the way that the wardrobe opens and stuff like makes me feel like old school adventure game vibes. I don't know why. Maybe I'm crazy. Hey, um, would you mind giving Pops his space? He likes the dark. You wave goodbye to Pops before closing the door again. <laughs> That's really cute. <clears throat> it's 
It's a flower pot full of dirt. That's my turnip plant. They should be sprouting up any day now. Oh, he's got a name. I hope. He's a person. Da, da, da. He's really taking his time. But I don't rush him. It's a little table with a built-in drawer. It seems to be locked. I don't get to open it. And even like the animation on the candles. I don't know, just... Hi, friend. Will you talk to me? Are you ready to leave? Leave Dalv's house? No. All right. Take as long as you like. Can I go into the other rooms? No. Okay. <laughs> he follows me. Someone made that for me a while back. It's a single corn from the cornfield out in the ruins. He's so happy. Who is that someone? I thought you said you don't have friends. It's a very beautifully rendered corn cob. I started that field from one piece of corn. Before I closed off the door to Snowden, something happened. Oh. Right. That makes sense. I kept finding corn sitting on my doorstep. Every morning it was just there. I didn't know who was leaving it, but... Somehow I thought they were my friend. I always wanted to repay their kind deeds, but I never could think of anything to leave in return. And one day they just stopped showing up. That's when I decided to hide away. Oh, Your pen pal stopped giving you corn. But I planted the last cob of corn I had down here. It's taken to the environment surprisingly well. I always found it rather inspiring. It's really cute. This broom is the broom a friend. Does it have a name? He has to walk over. Be careful with that. That broom has been like my best friend. Oh, buddy. I never thought he'd be replaced by a real friend. Okay, Flowey can't possibly kill this guy. <laughs> He's too adorable and too much of a loser. <laughs> it, you, he's too silly. You can't just go killing silly characters unless, like, it's the really dark version of the game, and I don't think we're going that route. It's a little table with a built-in drawer. It seems to be locked. All right. Dot, dot, dot. Let's look at something else, okay? He doesn't want me going into his room. He just dot, dot, dots. Okay. Frolicking around his house. So is this a way out? I guess so? I guess I've looked at everything. I guess we're gonna leave to leave Dal's house. Yes. If that's what you want, I'll lead the way. Okay, so I don't Oh I can go this way? Wait, this is leaving? Well, here we are. Thank you for everything. You have really helped me out. Because of this, I'm leaving this place. I'm tired of being alone. It'll take a few days to pack up, but I think I'm ready to give the underground another shot. I have so much creativity I've been storing up. I'm finally ready to let my talent show. I can publish my novel, have an organ concert. I might even make another friend. But we don't, we don't see him in Undertale canon. Well, I'm sure that's fine. What a world it would be if I had two whole friends. I'll, I'll go around and place corn on every doorstep. Everyone needs a little corn in their life. I've eaten corn every day for a year and I'm doing moderately okay. <laughs> oh. So much to learn, so much to teach. I'm very excited. Please, Flowey, do not. Please, Flowey, do not. Oops, there I go again with my rambling. Oh, honey, no, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. 
This is a lot of people that I've known. There I go again with my rambling. A lot of us probably are used to apologizing for talking to people. You know, you don't have to apologize for being yourself. Let's get you out of here. Oh, it seems the exit is blocked off. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. You're all set. Oh, before I forget, I never asked for your name. Mind informing me you only have one option here, and it's Clover. Clover? What a nice name. Well, Clover, thank you so much. See you later, friend. Flower. Oh, okay. I thought I would be able to just, like... I think I looked... I think I missed somewhere. I think I missed a section out there. Oh, well. That's fine. That's fine. I progressed the plot. <clears throat> it's nice... It sets you up thinking you're going to see t see Toriel and have like a repeat of the Toriel experience. But instead, you get to know a completely different original character. The original text of the sign was crossed out. <laughs> now it reads, Entry Forbidden in blue crayon. <sighs> Thanks. Dolph. I, I keep calling him Vlad and having to think about what that is. <clears throat> oh! That almost looks like a base clef down there. And then it like interestingly parallels the section that you leave the ruins and go into Snowden and have the, the trees and stuff. Um, but unfortunately, whatever these are, they don't get labeled. They are not snow puffs. Wonder if that's like where you go as Frisk or something, and we just can't go that way. It's just roped off. Pretty piano music. And a bridge. I think this was also performed live by the uh, the composer slash arranger. It has that feel. I could be mistaken, but that's the vibe I get. Sorry, Flowey, I know you want to talk, but there's music, okay? <clears throat> Flowey says, Howdy! Congratulations on being rid of those old ruins for good! You couldn't even go back if you wanted to now. Isn't the thought of fresh air exciting? Well, don't get ahead of yourself. You're still in the underground. We won't be anywhere near your fancy surface air for a while. Now, let's get moving before my petals freeze. Hop to it, bud! Actually, what was your name again? It isn't Bud. It's Gun Hat. <laughs> I forgot. How could I forget? I'm really good at naming things. And so is Asgore. And so is Asriel. <laughs> we have a gift. Gun Hat. So I can either say it's Clover or that's right. <laughs> I'm going to give Flowey my real name, because why not? It's Clover. Clover. Nice name there. I thought I was the only flower around here. Oh my god, he is actually commenting on the fact that we both have flower names. Amazing. Well then, Clover, let's get a move on. I'll see you up ahead, hopefully somewhere warmer. Hey, pal. What are you wasting time here for? New area a little scary for you? Come on, you can do it. I doubt you'll even need a save. 
It's just snow, ice, monsters, and possible risk of frostbite. Nothing to it, pal. Now get out there. This, like, almost... This is very fake, almost dad support. There appears to be something interesting on this rock. Touch it? Yes, it's the Delta rune. It was just some dirt in the snow. You wipe off your hand on a suspicious carving in the rock face. What happens if you don't touch it? No. It takes considerable self-discipline, but you ignore the interesting rock. Oh man, there's paths. What am I gonna do, folks? Try not to die. There is an igloo. <laughs> Froster mid. Check. They've added jingle bells. Because... And more like snowy, icy instrumentation. Amazing. Check. Froster mid. Attacks. Six, defense six, a suspicious igloo. Igloo, igloo. Something smells fishy. <laughs> Inspect. It's just an igloo. Yep, nothing to see here. Igloo towers over you menacingly. Kidding. It's just an igloo. Dance. You do a little dance. Someone has come out to investigate. Um, hi. Can I join? Can you see how cute? It's an igloo crab. Igloo crab, you're really cute. Please don't kill me. Frosterman is doing a crust to shuffle. Okay, now what? I'm gonna compliment you. We can dance. You wanted to dance with me. So can I join in? So let's dance together. You start doing a crab walk dance. Frosterman jumps in. Oh my god. Next time I'll lead. Frosterman is ready to scuttle on its way. Oh my god. What a cutie. Are you ready to go sailing into the water and get frostbite? I'm gonna do this. I bet, I don't remember, but I bet when I played Undertale, I bet I referenced Chip's challenge. There's a fishing hole cut into the ice. This is a box. It is a stupid box. You can put items in it and they'll stay there. Until you take it out, that is. Then it's not there. And then there are more of those boxes later. You can use them to retrieve the stuff you put in this box. Put it this box. It's super dumb. <laughs> Sincerely, a box hater. Poor box. Well, I'm gonna give the box my sponge cake because that is friendship cake. And unless I find a friend to give it to you, I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, that's the spirit. All right. Wait, is this progression? Did I accidentally go the right way? That won't do. <sighs> Look at me sliding. Hello, wandering, cool-looking friend. Excuse me, friends. Hello, friend. <laughs> See, it's funny because that's my line. <laughs> It's my line. We even have an emote for it. 
that you can't read because I'm really bad at making emotes and I made that way back early in my streaming career when I was young and even more clueless than I am now. Anyway, that's adorable. My husband and I have been exploring the underground. Many secrets lie throughout these lands. It makes for a great and exotic honeymoon. Dot, dot, dot. Unfortunately, we're a bit lost at the moment. He says he knows where we are, but I think he's just embarrassed. Any idea where we could get a map? Oh, I'll have to go looking for that. We're not lost. I know exactly where we are. We're in Snowden. Snowden isn't that big. You feel heat coming from the pile of stones. It should heal me. Next stop on our trip is supposed to be Waterfall. I hear there are glittering stones in the ceiling. It should be breathtaking and romantic. If we ever find it, that is. They are so adorable. I really like their design. It's a big and imposing rock that seems to be blocking something. I think all the boxes are connected. I think it's one of the things that's basically just a storage thing and you just put some stuff in. If it's if it's like the other one, then it's basically just like you have limited inventory space, so you put things there and then you can take them out whenever you find the next box. It seems to be perfectly blocking the cave entrance. Passing looks impossible for the time being. I'm going to get a flamethrower. Clearly. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I should hydrate, but I didn't get any water. Let's get made fun of by Flowey for saving too many times. The longer you stand around talking to me, the higher that risk of frostbite gets. Now move it. We're going to save. I guess I did take some damage. Whee! Sorry. It's just really fun to... No, I've just... There's dust around my desk and I haven't cleaned it fully. I've tried and I'm allergic to dust. So that's why I keep coughing. There's got to be something here. Oh, well. There is an igloo here. Hi, Frostermit. <laughs> I know how to deal with you. <clears throat> We're gonna have a dance party. Alright. Can you come and can you come dance with me more often? Thanks, Frostermit. The snowflakes aren't, like, trying to kill you. So, like, a bunch of these are not difficult for me, but a lot of them are. Who's coming next? You're adorable. Recalibrate the lava rock puzzle? Check. Dot, dot, dot. This is an adorable character design. Well, it should hold together for at least for a few uses at least. And that's good enough for me. Next stop, Honeydew Resort. Oh, that's a new location. Oh my god, they're adorable. Also, that is a way more elaborate animation than I would expect from Canon. <clears throat> the like not elaborate animations are part of the charm of the original Undertale. It's like Toby telling various character designers that the designs are too good. He can't use them. I got the vibes that that was a she, her bird, um, but she seems way too cool to be birdly. Sorry. <clears throat> Oh, the lava puzzle. Am I going to actually get a flamethrower to get through that cave? Maybe I am. To whom it may concern. In accordance with Royal Guard Guidebook Section 4, Paragraph 2, this puzzle is intended to impede the progress of an intruder, probably you, entertain the residents of the surrounding area, Snowden, and appear intimidating to would-be intruders or wrongdoers. I'm unclear on what they mean by that. Just go with it. To pass by this challenge, you must melt the ice cube. Make sure the ball thing gets to the bottom without breaking through. Signed, Martlet of the Underground Royal Guard. P.S. If 
one of the logs gets stuck, just jiggle it a little. <laughs> I noticed it was sticky the other day, but you know how it is with DIY projects. Amazing. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't, I, I can't say why I got <clears throat> she, her vibes for the bird. We'll find out if I'm right or not. Always something has to go wrong. So yeah, just a quick jiggle will do. P.P.S. I just realized that you might not be able to reach the log to jiggle it. I mean, not everyone can fly or is freakishly tall. Especially if you're a human or something. So just hope it doesn't get stuck. P.P.P.S. <clears throat> I figured it out. If it gets stuck, just wait. I come around to inspect the puzzle quality every third day. Just hang out right where you are for a day or two. No big deal. Oh, and hope it doesn't get stuck. P-P-P-S. P-P-P-P-S. I have been informed that the amount of P-S's on this sign is unseemly. <laughs> <clears throat> Such a great word choice. I'm very sorry for any trouble they've caused. <clears throat> That's adorable. Okay. So. <sighs> I get it. I can move those. <clears throat> I moved it too soon, okay. Boop. Oh, you have to fill it up, so you have to do it again. <clears throat> gonna get stuck on the last one I bet hold on shoot that was me <clears throat> Surprising. Is that how we're, is that we're supposed to go? Can't be. Can't be. I guess maybe that's it. That's all I can do. So I guess, I guess, yeah. I guess I went every other way <clears throat> that I could see. It doesn't appear there's anything hidden here, just an igloo. All right, Frostermit. Hi, Mockman. I'm dancing with a crab. How are you doing? Um, hi. Can I join? New move. That's actually pretty adorable. That was like just way too detailed. <clears throat> oh my god. Dominic, what? <laughs> That's ridiculous. I'm amused. Let's see if I can look at the thing and be like, it's full. The water meter is full of liquid ice. <sighs> Weirdos. Amazing. Wait, there's a sign and I don't get to read it. That's so unfair. I want to go read the sign. Wait, hold on. You got your tongue stuck. <laughs> hey, you. Can you help me out, dude, Paul? I was fortunately prepared <laughs> for that to be <laughs> the way the dialogue here was going to work. I've been here for two hours now. Three dogs came up and dared me to wick it. Due to the cold weather, I'm now stuck. 
And I know I'm told me to be back in time for lunch, too. This is actually very effective. They must have had somebody hold their tongue like this and, and talk and somebody else wrote out what it sounded like. Please help. I don't have the thing. I'm gonna try to find the thing. The <laughs> triple dog dared! Oh my god, you're right! Oh, 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 I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. We're gonna go see if we can solve this person's problem. I'm all about trying to solve people's problems. Unless they've left by now. die. <clears throat> I briefly forgot what I was doing, but then I remembered, so it's all good. No! Don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Someone has come out to investigate. And he's so cute with his little happy face. Okay. I'm dancing with you as much as I can, buddy. Shoot, I just walked right into that. No! Dodge the attacks. Remember what I taught you? I'm gonna have to do all that again. Oh, I can't take one of these. That's what I'm gonna want to do. All right. Well, I guess I should have run from that. Say, run for that or healed. But I took a lot of damage real fast. I have to do this whole cutscene again. I'm sorry, folks. I guess maybe there was a save in that area and I didn't see it or something. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be more bird watching. No way to fast forward. All right, well, I'm gonna do my best to solve this puzzle super fast. With my super puzzle skills. Well, you know, maybe this game is getting revenge for me backtracking so much in Undertale. Oh, that's what that always retry option is. Oh, right. I could do that if I don't want to have to rewatch cutscenes. No, I don't want to read the instructions again. I thought it got stuck. <laughs> I was like, did you really? I might do the... Oh, it would lose the flowery dialogue. I suppose that's true. Well, we'll see. We'll see how much I die. It's nice of them that the way that it ends with this puzzle thing... Um, is, is where you need it to be for the next roll, you know? So it's already set up here because I said I... It makes it less annoying, which is a nice touch and probably something that they did after playtesting, unless they were just smart enough. Did I just lose my control? Hold on. Did the game freeze? Nope. It's not just the controller. I'm hitting my keyboard now. Uh, 
I don't know what I've done. <laughs> what did I do? How did I break it? <sighs> this better not actually be frostbite. It would have to actually cue me to indicate that there was frostbite. I did save, yes. So what we can do is load this up next week. Solve this puzzle. Go talk to the person with their tongue stuck. I'm sorry. And then hopefully go get a thing that we can use to gently remove their tongue from being stuck. See what happens. What kind of weird shenanigans these people put together. It's funny though because like it has definite Undertale vibes. I did beat the whole ruins in one stream. Aren't you proud of me? I feel like I haven't done my usual rambling as much as I usually do, but the game's also given me a little less because I'm just getting started, you know? So I don't I don't yet have enough to ramble fully about. Um but it's fun. The um the, the there's a lot of wackiness and they definitely have a similar sense of humor like the wordplay is spot on it's very clever especially you get double dog dared you get triple dog dared well you can't say no to that like it's it is very silly i'm wondering how they're going to work in the the seriousness that is a big part of what makes undertale so good but it took a while in undertale i mean to be fair the situation with Toriel, I felt emotionally engaged with, like, very early on. Like, when you have to fight her, like, that is a very emotional experience for a lot of people. Um, me included. Um, so, like, I feel like this is not trying to hit exactly the same emotional beats, even if it's very clearly, like, similar story beats. Although I think we're going to wind up going maybe to some different locations that we don't see in Undertale canon. Um, but, uh... They've done a really nice job of making it their own. I will say it doesn't feel like Undertale, but it has similar vibes to Undertale. Like, it, it doesn't completely recapture the experience of playing Undertale itself, um, but it feels very related to Undertale. So I'm really definitely enjoying it. Um, we'll see if I continue having some trouble with the, um, with the battles. Like, the thing is, like, some of the bullet patterns are way harder than others for me. And I don't know if, like, it's just that they are different difficulty levels or if there are, like, specific kinds of things I've gotten better at over the years and specific things I haven't. Um, but we'll see because I'm not opposed to putting easy mode on, you know? Um, so we'll see if I wind up needing easy mode, which is fine. There's no, no problems with it. Um... I'm curious to see kind of what it changes. Um, it's just that it's a little bit frustrating to have to redo cutscenes over again. And I think maybe it'd be less frustrating if I didn't accidentally freeze the game. I don't know what I did wrong. Um, and maybe the fact that I actually expect to be better at video games makes me more frustrated with myself when I... I lose at things in a way that I didn't have when I played Undertale. I didn't I I didn't play or beat video games. I'd never played a bullet hell before, so I was like shocked and astonished by my ability to survive anything in that game. Whereas with this game, I'm like, I would like to not die that often. <laughs> but I will be a compulsive triple saver. Sorry, Flowey. But you give me a free heal. Um I really because Clover has a backstory that we are actually going to get pieces of because of that that missing poster. Which is funny because a missing poster and a wanted poster are different things, you know? Um, but it feels like Clover's talking about it like it's a wanted poster, almost. Um, I'm just, I'm really curious what their deal is and what's going on. 
Like, what is so serious and important and personal to them that they are willing to go to the place that you don't come back from to make sure it gets done, whatever it is. And like, why do Frisk and Kara wind up in the underground? What sends them to Mount Abbott is the question behind a lot of fan fiction because that's a really big question. Um, in this, because it's a fan game, I think we might actually get some answers. Like, I mean, we already know a little bit. Um, even from, like, the very, very intro. Um, but it's interesting because, like, they do come across as a kid. They have these, these toys, this, like, play gun, this play thing. Um, but they're a kid trying to enact justice. Like, they're playing at being a cowboy. I don't know. I like them. I think they're charming. And I'm looking forward to getting to know them better. And it'd be very satisfying to have a fun fan and backstory for one of the souls. And I feel like this is something that that Toby Fox is probably never going to give us. Because Undertale doesn't need it. And it gives us fun ways to fill in the blanks. Um, Yeah, it's neat. It's neat stuff. I like it. I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes from here. Um, And it's definitely tiding me over until I guess we're getting more Deltarune this year, which I will be very excited about. So, all right. It is 10 o'clock, which is that time. Um, But thank you all for joining and for sticking it out. I, I don't know how much fun I am to watch play games like this anymore, but I appreciate you being here and tuning in. Um... And I, I hope that you uh, hope that you have had fun with this game. And if you continue tuning in, I, I will look forward to seeing you. Um, please take care of yourselves. Be, uh, be good. Don't get into too much trouble and be kind to yourselves. And go out there. If you're feeling a little lonely and isolated, find somebody to talk to and say hello to. Just say hello to a stranger, even if it's the person um, at the gas station across the road while you buy a snack. Just remind yourself that you're a person. You can talk to people. It's okay. Good night, everybody. Take care of yourselves. I will see you next. So I have to scoot things around a bit because my game is... Or not my game yet. Everything is on the wrong screen. So I'm going to move things around a bit. Good night. Bye.